this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Photography and Actions and today we're going to take a look at the color swap action. This action is available in the Heart and Soul Action Collection Set and it's also a freebie action on its own that you can download from my website michellekanephotography.com go up to the freebies tab at the top and you'll see a series of free goodies that I make available for you to download. So uh, color swap is an action that is there to help you swap out the colors in your image. So if you have a color, say in this floral image that you want to change, maybe we want to take the green and make it a different color or the red and make it a different color, we can make a nice selection of those colors and switch them out. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go up to the actions tab and I'm going to hit color swap and hit play and it's going to give you a um, dialog box that pops up and lets you know that you're going to use the eyedropper tool to make your selection. It's going to create a white overlay in the dialog box that will pop up and the white will represent your selection, the color that you're choosing to change, and the black will represent the colors that won't change. It also lets you know that you can click the eyedropper tool to add to the selection or subtract to the selection. I'm going to show you how to do all this, so we'll hit continue. And here it's telling us again about the minus eyedropper tool and the fuzziness slider, so we'll cover that here. And what's going to pop up is this uh, dialog box here. And you can see it's already made a selection for us. So again, this that you're seeing here, this box with the black and the white, this is a layer mask. This will turn into a layer mask in your layers palette. And what a layer mask is, black is where the effect is not shown white is where the effect is shown. So right now what we have selected is pretty much this uh, red flower. Now if I want to say no we don't want to pick the red flower let's maybe pick the green in the picture. I already have the eyedropper tool selected and now I've clicked up here on the green and you can see the mask represents that I've selected tones that are more in that green family. And if I want to add to the selection again here's your plus eyedropper here's your minus eyedropper so let's move this a little bit out of the way and say we want to go ahead and hit the plus and we want to add in these tones here. So now the selection is pretty big, it's pretty broad. It's picking up most of the background. It's not really picking up this dark spot here. You can see that represented it. And you see that it's also picking up some of the tones down here in the flower. If now we want to subtract from the selection and say no, I don't want any of this yellow and I just keep subtracting out the yellow, then I'm really just selecting the green in this case. So let's go back to just a regular eyedropper. It doesn't have a plus or a minus. And let's maybe pick the red. And I'm just going to come in here and click around and you can see that the color range dialog box begins to change as my selection changes. I'm not adding or subtracting to the selection here because I just have the plain eyedropper. I'm just picking a selection. Now I can continue to add to it and say now pick up these lighter tones and now the entire thing is selected pretty much. Um, it even selected a little bit up in here. Now another thing I'm going to go back to this regular eyedropper tool and we'll pick kind of a red and we have the fuzziness slider. Now the fuzziness slider will go ahead and continue to add into your selection or subtract from your selection. So you don't have to necessarily use the plus or minus on the eyedropper. You can utilize this fuzziness slider. So I want to pick a selection and what's nice about this particular way to make a selection is that the selection is going to kind of mesh into um, the entire picture easily and nicely. It's not going to be a harsh selection with really rough defined edges. It's going to be a nice kind of incorporated selection into the picture. So let's say we have this uh, flower pretty much selected and we'll hit OK. And actually, you know what, I'm going to drop that fuzziness down just a little bit. And what's going to happen is it'll give you a dialog box letting you know if you're a CS2 or 3 user, you need to go ahead and click in your layers palette on the hue and saturation layer to open up the adjustment to make the adjustment. And if you're a CS4, 5, or 6 user, we can just come to our adjustments panel and there's our adjustment that we're going to make. It's going to tell us also that we can use a black brush to paint over any of the areas that we didn't want the color changes to affect. We can also add to the selection with a white brush. 
So now that we have this, let's go to our layers palette and we'll be able to see that it made a mask, a layer mask that is attached to this uh, hue and saturation adjustment. We've also got a, um, a little snapshot basically of our original color. So what we have here is a mask and we, nothing has changed so far because we haven't selected any changes to make. That's where your hue and saturation sliders come in. So let's just say we come in here and we change the hue and bring it to something blue and you know really obvious. Now here's what I was talking about how the selection is kind of nice and graduated. Um, no real harsh lines but definitely this isn't a believable look. So my suggestion is to pick colors and change colors um, slightly varying it based on the picture. Uh, maybe it's a little bit more realistic to make this purple because it meshes into the existing red a little bit better than if I were to make it green. That just isn't really a believable transition there. So if we make this purple and maybe we want to take the saturation down a little bit or we can increase that saturation until your retinas burn out of your eyeballs. That's an option too. Um, and you also have a lightness lighter, so darkening it up, brightening it. Um, this is variable. I tend not to use the lightness lighter too much, but just know that it's there for you. You can um, colorize it as well if you want to just pick a particular color. Um, it, that changes how the colors change. I don't suggest that one very often, but it's there for you to experiment with if you want to try it. So let's maybe take this color and just take it more into the purple. And um, you know what? Actually, let's make it something really obviously different. Let's go to green. So now you can see that whatever is white here in this layer mask has turned to green. So if you have a brush, a black brush, and I'm going to pick a 100% opacity brush, and we just exit out, you can see that on the layer mask, we've also covered up, and this is a good layer mask tutorial actually, it shows you that wherever you painted with black, this uh, color swap effect is covered up. Wherever it's white, it's showing. So let's undo those two things. If maybe you've gotten out of the lines, maybe you're doing something like a woman's lip color, and maybe you've selected something uh, and it picked up some reddish around the eyes. You could always use your black brush and wherever it's showing in the eyes, just come in lightly and start to remove off of those areas. And again, if you pick a green and you decide, you know what, that's not the color I want, let's go back over here to purple. You can come in because it's an adjustment layer and make that change. Now we can take this whole layer in the layers palette and drop down the opacity if maybe we want to have it a little bit less. And now we've got a little bit different color on the picture from the original. And we're going to look at another picture here. We've got this uh, really red popping shirt here. And I want to just take the red that's existing in the shirt and take it to a new color. Maybe we'll tone down that shirt so it doesn't pop out so much. So again, the actions palette, color swap, hit play. Again, our little dialogue telling us how to make the selection. And if you come in here and we pick the little eyedropper on a red, or maybe we pick the blue, you can see how the selection changes here. So we're going to pick the reds, and we can increase the fuzziness slider. So it's really picking up more of the detail of the reds. If we go all the way, we can start to see it picks up the face, and this is where we would want to mask out our color change so that we don't remove the red that's, avail that's there in his face. So we'll just drop down that fuzziness slider until we don't see it selecting any of the face. Hit OK. We're going to hit OK through these dialog boxes. And then again, on our layers palette, here's our selection. Here's all of our red. In our adjustments panel, we need to go ahead and switch out the colors. So let's maybe take the hue and where do we want to go here? Green, blue. Let's just make it blue so it just kind of matches in with everything. Let's take the saturation down just a little bit. Maybe the lightness down just a little bit. And now our before and our after. Easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it shed some light on how the color swap action works. Again, you can learn more about my Photoshop actions at michellecanephotography.com. 
the freebies tab is there for you to download. I've got lots of videos under the videos tab. Um, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.